Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over how to set up and enable the Salesforce optimizer as well as how to run the optimizer. So let's go ahead and jump into setup here. So the Salesforce optimizer allows us to see the places that we might need to upgrade our Salesforce system or things that might be becoming outdated soon. And it allows us to have a good portion of our Salesforce org in the best practices as well as understanding user adoption. So let's go ahead and go to optimize. You can search for it, but it's just down here at the very bottom of the single ones. And then I am going to allow access, agree, save and close. All right, and then we can go ahead and either run monthly or no scheduled run. I'm gonna run a no scheduled run just because this is a trailhead org. So I'm going to open optimizer and run it. All right, and while that is running, a few other things that we can know about the optimizer is that it can be found. I just went back to a different tab. We can go to the optimizer through the apps, now that it's been enabled on the back end, we can look at it from the front end. I'm gonna go here while it is running. All right, and I went to, I refreshed it, but as we can see, we have a few different things that we can do here. It's still running, but it has a bunch of different tasks that we can do or enable. So let's go ahead and go into user logins. It says media action required on a few of these different things and an estimated effort for us. So this looks to be a mission critical, thing that we need to update or we need to choose and change. And the estimated effort is around 30 minutes. So this might be something that we want to do. So we currently have one user that has not logged in lately within Salesforce. And so we might want to take away her license if she hasn't or check on her to make sure that she is logging in or at least she can log in. So that was that. We can also check on other things. Um, also, this is because this is a trailhead org. I do know Jane Doe is a fake user uh, that I've just been run running different tests and showing different tutorials with, and she has never logged in, which is kind of what I would expect. I'm going to go to... All right, so this now is telling me that we have an insecure object. So there's one object with a default external access so that this object is seen to users outside of our org, which could be mean users that are outside of our company, such as partner users. And that object is also public rewrite, so anyone can access it or edit it. And so we might want to go ahead and change the, the settings of those, either to make it not external or to change the public rewrite to private or something like that. And that would be a fairly simple thing to do. So if we go ahead and exit out of these different things. And we just go back to the basics of the Salesforce optimizer. We can see how much it's run. Okay, so currently it has 55 items. Let's open that up a little more. 55 different items it has run. And some of these do not have estimated times, but these are things that maybe we have issues within our org that we want to place into the backlog that Salesforce can automatically recognize that our org is missing and whatnot. That is kind of a quick overview of how to set up, enable, and run the Salesforce optimizer. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses on Salesforce down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. And thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.